anytime I'm fishing cover where I'm what I call fishing straight up and down. And what I mean by that, I'm pitching in holes or into those pads or bushes or matted grass. And uh, basically, you know, I'm dropping that bait in there. I'm hopping it up and down however many times, you know, depending on the conditions and I'm pulling it out. And uh, the reason I like that big rod for that is because I like for them to come right out. And uh, th th this is a big fish technique. And when you're fishing in that real heavy cover, you know, way back in that stuff like that, I mean, it, it, you gotta have enough rod and power because I can't get the boat out there to those fish, so I'm gonna have to bring them to me. And uh, so that's the reason for this technique. Uh, I like that big rod. Now, the jig I have on here is just a half ounce. And the reason I'm not throwing a heavier one, this water is down, it's low, and there's not a lot of water under that stuff. So I want just enough weight to get it through there, and I want that bait to hang. Because if it just shoots right through there, the strike zone is not very big. So the longer I can leave that bait hanging, the better chance if that fish, if I didn't drop right on it, has a chance to, you know, find the lure. And, um, and typically, anytime I'm flipping heavy, heavy cover like that and shallow, I always use a jig for that reason. And because uh, I want that bait to have a slower rate of fall. So if I rig up a, a rage bug, a rodent, a punch bug, um, some type of plastic, even on a smaller weight, it'll still fall pretty fast. But the number one reason for the jig in that situation is the hookup rate is so much better. You know, a lot of times with a Texas rig, when you're fishing heavy cover like that, you know, it's, it's easy to miss, miss those fish, especially like these fish are really aggressive, like they're jumping on the bait. And uh, a lot of times it can be easy with a te Texas rig to miss them out there. And I just feel like if I get 10 bites on a jig, you know, there's a good chance I'll catch seven of them. Where with the Texas rig, you'll have days where, you know, I get 10 bites in that stuff, I might catch two, you know, so that's the reason for the jig. The other reason right now, these fish, it's fall of the year, these fish are starting to feed up, the days are getting shorter and uh, they're feeding on bluegill. And to me, nothing represents a bluegill better than a jig. You know, if, I'm, if these fish were eating crawfish, plastic by far is better. But that jig, it's bulky, it's short, swims like a bluegill. It's just a perfect uh, combination when they're eating bluegill and heavy cover. Because that bluegill, he's hiding out there too, you know, the same place the bass are. 